all the good things are happening. Today we're going to show you how to lay a subfloor in your van with no holes into the metal at all. So to stick the floor to the ground, we don't want to drill into the actual floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this liquid nail. It actually dries really quick. It dries in 15 minutes. So it doesn't actually dry in 15 minutes. It's tacky in 15 minutes. So you have to have the pieces together within that time. But it takes a lot longer to dry. We'll show you. So my suggestion would be get all your boards ready, put it down, then lay heavy stuff on top of that subfloor. That way it holds it all down and it really sticks good. And then after that, we'll be able to lay our actual subfloor on top of these little strips. And then we'll drill into the strips themselves. That way we're not going through the van and then you have a perfectly floating floor. The most important part is to make sure that you're landing the liquid nail in the correct spots. So it says you want to do about a quarter inch of these zigzags. I'm going to be generous. So I cut that hole pretty big and we're going to put it on each one of these these little nubs that are coming up. Ready? The reason that we're putting the liquid nail on the nubs is that the floor is going to be floating obviously on the highest point. So there's no point in putting the subfloor underneath in the grooves because it'll just be wasted material. So we want to keep it all above the grooves. That also allows airflow. Um, and if any moisture accumulates, it'll all roll to the back of the van, just like it's designed to do. One piece down. Now for all the rest. Now you got to measure 16 inches center to center. So we're going to get 16 inches, make a quick mark, and then we'll know exactly where our spot is. Yesterday we measured all the boards that we're going to need, labeled them all, and then took them back into the house to weather treat them. They're not going to be in the elements, but we wanted to make sure that it was waterproof wood because we didn't buy pressure treated. So we needed to treat them for waterproofing first. So today we're going to glue all the pieces down. We don't want to create any drill holes in the van, so that's our process. So this subfloor is super important. It's like the skeleton of the of the of the whole build. So we traced the outline and we numbered each board so we knew which order they go in. Alex is dancing again. Damn nice. Now we have to take this board and we have to jigsaw cut it all out. So once we cut it, we should be able to take this board and place it exactly inside and it will match up with all the boards on the inside as well perfectly. That way we could drill all of our little holes and get all of our um, screws in directly. That way it will sandwich itself down onto the floor. And then when we put everything directly on top of here, it's a perfect cutout. We don't have to worry about things shifting around and moving. We just put our first piece of subflooring down and it fits actually almost perfect. There's one little cut in the corner that Frankie needs to make and then we'll be golden with this first slice. Make that cut, make that cut. <laughs> The subfloor fit perfectly. The template was such a good idea and it made it so easy to cut out. Now, actually, we have to remove all of these pieces now that we know that we fit and we're going to insulate. So we're finally gonna get into our Havelock wool. Yeah, I'm ex super excited that we have this down packed. I'm ready to put Havelock wool in. I'm ready to get the experience of Havelock wool because I have not yet touched it or feel felt what it feels like, you know, and I'm really excited to not have any chemical behind my walls. So I think that's really cool. And what I think is really interesting about it is it's also a vapor barrier. So we don't have to worry about putting any reflectic or anything over that. You can still put it there if you want, but I think we're just going directly with that Havelock wool. Get pumped. Woohoo! Honestly, I'm so excited because this like really makes you feel like you're getting ready for like the big build part. Ready? You know what I mean? Like this is like it's you like have finally a floor, starting to come together. And it's like you can start to see where everything is gonna go. Like we know like the bed and the 
I don't want to. I don't want to give too much information. I guess all the good things are happening. So here's what's happening. This stuff, it's not all the way dry yet, but because we didn't have enough weight on it for a long enough time for it to dry, the boards are just popping up and off. So we're gonna put more glue down and then we're gonna let it dry and fully cure. So we got our weights and we got the extreme liquid nail. We are gonna take the boards out for like the hundredth time? The Is this the? The like four millionth time that we've it's taken only, the boards out? It's only like a third of the fourth time. <laughs> well, we're basically actually at it. <laughs> so we're going to take it out. We're going to start over again. She's waving a cock around. She got me right in the chin. Oh God, she got so both of us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we're losing our minds. We're going to put some music on. We're going to have some fun with this. And we want to get it all done tonight so that it can sit for at least 24 no, to 48 hours. 48. Yeah, so, but the good news is we'll still be able to walk on it. Yeah. Like, we can still be in here and do stuff. We just won't be able to finish the floor for 48 hours. Hey, be careful with my woo. I mean, you be careful with your cock. <laughs> I mean, cock, cock? How do you cool. say it now? I'm so cool. cool. Is it a beautiful morning, Frank? It's a beautiful morning. Oh, I wish we could step outside and play. Instead, we're working on a van. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say no play till man. This is bad. This bad takes camera Frank. So she decided to. Do. You got it. Yeah. You know I'm so helpful. I appreciate it. It's and then I gotta remove all this. I did my one. I do one, Frank does 100, it's the rules. All right guys, so this little bit right here actually drills in and makes a little bevel into the wood. That way when we put the main screw in, it just goes directly in and sits flush. Sinks it. It sinks it. Here we go. So now, the moment of truth is upon us. What happened last time is when I drilled this in, it just literally popped right back up. So, let me get one of those Okay. So last time we waited about 12 hours, this time we made it about 36. So let's see. What do you think? You know, I'm thinking. Do you think we need to leave it a little bit longer? Uh, it, well, the only way we're going to find out is when we take all this stuff off and see if it actually flexes back up. Mm. Yeah. So what I would like to do actually is where those two bricks are right here. Mm -hmm. I want to do that area because this is the area where it definitely popped up. So the outside are definitely dry. I put a lot of cock in here. Um. It felt like it grabbed a little bit better. Yeah. Is there a piece of wood right there? Mm-hmm. That sandwiched. Pulled it up? Yeah. Okay. I think it might be working. So that means that we can take all of the weight out of here. We'll leave the cinder blocks because we're just going to drive them back to the store and return them. In terms of all of like our random stuff, we can get out of here and then we can actually walk around and do the electrical because it was way too tight in here yesterday. We were falling all over the place. So is Frank happy? Yes, I'm very happy. I think that... <laughs> you look so happy. Yes, I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very happy with the way it turned out now. I love the fact that it is staying down when we drill in those uh, screws because otherwise we're going to have a floor that's like wonky and we don't want that. We want to put our main floor on top of this and we want it to be nice and smooth and level all the way through. The entire subfloor 
is completely floating except for one spot. The wood actually, the actual plywood was warped a little bit so it was coming up at the edge and pulling those furring strips up. So in the corner at the front we actually had to put two screws all the way through the van. Unfortunately we didn't want to but because of the way that the wood was flexing we just kind of had to but I think that for an entire subfloor to only have two screws in the entire floor is pretty phenomenal. Let me see you jump. The subfloor is finished, the subfloor is finished. People gonna think we're having sex in the van. Sex in the van. People are thinking we having sex in the van. Hey, what are you doing in there? Uh, aerobics. Oh, okay. You're just doing squats? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing squats. <laughs> Okay guys, we'll see you in the next video. We've got a whole build series, so be sure to check it out right here.